Are you considering health and wellness coaching as a nurse? There are programs for you to become board certified as a nurse coach. Now, I was fascinated by this when I first discovered it a few years ago because I had never heard of such a thing. The concept of life coaching and health coaching and thought, gosh, it would be really great if I could merge my skills as a nurse into coaching skills. And then to find out that it is such a thing was really a serendipity for me. Recently, I went through a 12-week program and this was a foundations course and I still have to go through practicum, but I wanted to give you a review of the Integrative Nurse Coach Association, specifically for the Nurse Coach course. It's called the Integrative Nurse Coach Academy. And I am a part of cohort 34, and I wanted to give you a quick overview of this. Hello everyone, if you're new here, I'm Dr. Lisa Chapel. I'm a doctor of nursing practice, a professor of nursing, and studying to have my board certification as a health and wellness nurse coach. I make videos for nurses, students, and caregivers on becoming more empowered and resilient. Any of that sounds interesting to you, please click that subscribe button below. Would love to have you stick around. I do release new videos every Wednesday. Okay, so let's get started on the Integrative Nurse Coach Academy review. Now I feel really thankful to have found this program because the founder of the program is Barbara Dossie, who is a world-renowned author, Nightingale scholar, entrepreneur within the profession, and leader within the profession. She is the founder of the Tink or the Theory of Integrative Nurse Coaching, along with a couple of other phenomenal nurse coach leaders, including Susan Luck, being the founders of this program. And they are also the founders of the concept of nurse coaching and have worked to have this be an officially recognized certification within nursing. I feel really fortunate to have found this program. Now I am a part of cohort 34, which means that before me there have been 33 other cohorts and the program began, I believe it was about 10 years ago. It has evolved into what it is today, which is a program that you can take entirely online line to work towards your certification as a nurse coach. And now there are two different kinds of certifications that you could go for by taking this one course and then taking the practicum piece. You can go for certification as a NCBC, so that's a nurse coach that's board certified, or you can also achieve your holistic nurse credentials. So you can become a holistic nurse through the Holistic Nurses Association. Now both credentials are through the Holistic Nurses Association. And in terms of our faculty, I've seen some that have that health and wellness nurse coach. So when you take both certifications, you can combine the credentials to be HWNCBC. So that stands for Health and Wellness Nurse Coach Board Certified. So it means that you are both certified holistic nurse and a board certified nurse coach. I've seen some of the faculty that have that a, let's see, HWNCBC, and I've seen some that have the NCBCs. Does it matter whether you go for both or not? I still kind of have to figure that out. In my mind, I will probably go for both certifications because I also am really interested in the holistic nursing piece. I've been a nurse for 18 years and I remember hearing briefly in nursing school about holistic nursing because we had a faculty who was a part of the Holistic Nurses Association. But I also remember kind of closing the book on that after nursing school and going into a traditional hospital role as a nurse and I kind of lost touch with a lot of those practices that I had learned in nursing school, such as imagery practices, these alternative things that we could do to help people with pain, massage, aromatherapy. They were components of healing, but it was usually siloed within the hospital setting. And so you could maybe pull in someone who could do aromatherapy. But to be a nurse who is certified in all of these different skills and can bring those skills 
skills into their practice and particularly into nurse coaching practice, I think is really valuable. Regardless, with this program, it definitely integrates components of holistic nursing because it is a credential through the American Holistic Nurses Association. Okay, so let's get into the pros and cons of the course itself. So the course is delivered completely online at this point in time, and I think that that is a major pro for me personally, because when I was looking at this program three years ago, it wasn't going to be doable for me because they had a two-week intensive program where you had to go out to where they were located, which I think they move around to different locations but I'm not exactly sure about that, so I, I can't speak officially about it. But I would have had to get time off for a two-week period of time and to pay for travel costs and make sure my family was taken care of, and it was just going to be too difficult at that time. And so I'm so glad that this program is now offered online. So it's a 12-week course. I will say I believe it is very doable while working a full-time job as well because the meetings are scheduled in the evenings. They do use Google Meets, which I'm used to Zoom, so I did have to learn that platform, but it was very similar and very easy to get going on it. We meet every other week with what's called a supervisory nurse coach meeting, and so we meet with a specific faculty, and there are quite a few faculty. I want to say there are 10 or 11 faculty that are managing all of our cohort and cohort 34, and there's over 100 hundred students in the cohort, but we have individualized attention with our own faculty because there's only, I, I think it's 10 of us that are in our supervisory meetings. So we get a dedicated faculty who is a nurse coach who has experience in coaching and then also experience in teaching. The classroom setup is more of a flipped classroom. And so there are modules and you'll go in and each modules broken up there's 12 different modules and you would go in to each module individually and within each module you have and I'm going to pull up a module so I can walk you along here so each module has a different focus and they'll go ahead and tell you what the module objectives are right within the module you'll have an introduction and each of the modules showcase a different faculty and they tell their story within nurse coaching and what it has meant to them, which I really enjoy about the program, being able to learn about all these different faculty. Then you'll have three different tabs within each module. There's an introductory section. Then you have a video library. So within the video library, there are different PDFs to download and these are PDFs of PowerPoint presentations and so you can save them and I went ahead and set up files for myself and I will save each of these PDFs in case I want to come back and look at them later because I'm not sure how long I'm going to have access to this course. And I did forget to mention the course platform, the LMS or the learning management system is Canvas. And so if you're familiar with Canvas, a lot of universities use Canvas. Um, that's, that's the system here. And I think it's just as good as any other online learning platform. We use Brightspace at my university. And so I found Canvas to be fairly accessible. Um, there's a lot of ways to get to different places. But I have found there's a lot of support. So during the supervisory meetings, they will do a presenter mode and pull up their screen and show you the different capacities within the learning management system within Canvas and how to find things. They also have a dedicated tech person. His name is Ron. I think it's pronounced Kinka, Ron Kinka, and he's been super, super helpful. So anytime I had technology challenges or issues, he responded to me within within a couple hours, honestly, and would help me out if I had difficulties with my postings or anything else. And he's also been very active. He'll put together resources and post those. And so he's very involved. And it's nice that they have this dedicated tech person who's available to the students if there's any issues whatsoever. So then other things within the video library, you generally have a couple of recorded 
lectures. And so that faculty that you met within that module will introduce all of the course content. And so they'll go through a couple of things. The other thing that I really, really love about this program overall and about nurse coaching is that they incorporate throughout the entire program awareness practices. And so an awareness practice is it's kind of like meditation, mindfulness, but it has kind of its own spin. And each student um, throughout our supervisory meetings will will practice hosting an awareness session. So we'll have a closing awareness practice and then, sorry, an opening awareness practice and then we'll have a closing awareness practice. And these are extremely powerful. You also use the awareness practices within coaching and so you learn more about how to do that, how to become very present so that you can meet someone where they are and that you can use that powerful use of self and therapeutic communication to really listen to what someone is saying. And I think that is the key difference with this nurse coaching that is so incredibly powerful. And so you learn to be a, a master, so to speak. It's something that I'm sure it's a skill you develop over time, but you get better and better at practicing with awareness and then also providing a session for others to practice awareness. So within the video library each week, there's a hosted awareness practice. Now, if I were to say a con about these, I would say they're all recorded from the faculty's home computers and I think probably they had to do that and continue to have to do that during COVID. And so not everybody has fancy equipment, meaning uh, their cameras and their recording equipment. So sometimes the audio isn't as great, I guess, as you would want it to be for a, a high quality video. However, I don't think it detracts from the overall appeal of the program and it's still very, very good. Um, the other feedback I guess I would say is it would be nice to see the faculty's faces as they're presenting the content. And I think that, that that's something maybe they could incorporate in the future. But for now, you see the slides and it's a traditional PowerPoint lecture where they forward through the slides and you learn the content in that way. I will say a bonus is how they've broken up the content and so it's usually not longer than 25 minutes and so you could take it in pieces throughout your week. And then those supervisory meetings, as I said, only occur once every two weeks. And so you have some time to digest the content. And then it is a flipped classroom model. So when you get in the class, there's no lecturing about nurse coaching. It's the students who are sharing. And there's usually topics of discussion and the faculty are really wonderful about summarizing what you discussed during the supervisory meeting and then telling you what to do to prepare for the next one if you need to bring anything or just yourself and have your camera going and you meet these other amazing nurses who are also part of the program and that's another fabulous piece of the program that makes it highly recommended. Sometimes there are asynchronous discussions as well. It's not every week but sometimes during those weeks, you'll need to post a discussion posting where you read some of the chapters from the textbook and then you discuss those. And let me tell you what the, dis the um, textbook is. So the other, I would say, really beneficial part of this program is that there is a textbook. Integrative Practices for Health and Wellness, unfortunately. So I brought the Kindle version and uh, this is my book here. So it is available as an ebook, which I really prefer to read ebooks so I can do all the highlighting, but it's also a physical textbook as well, which I apologize that I don't have. Each chapter is written by a various nurse coach. Ah, here we go. So the book is Nurse Coaching, Integrative Approaches for Health and Well-Being, and it is by Barbara Dossi, Susan Luck, and Bonnie Schwab. So that's the other nurse coach that I forgot to mention who is a founder of the program. So Bonnie Schwab, Susan Luck, and Barbara Dossi. And we, we get an introduction in the course to Barbara Dossi. 
And I, I just admire her so much as a nurse leader and theorist and everything that she's done for our profession. And I think it's fabulous to be a part of a program where she is the founder. And then Susan Luck as well. Fabulous, absolutely fabulous. Other piece of the foundations course that I love so much is that you are put into a coaching triad and then a coaching dyad. And each week, except for week one and week 12, you meet with either your dyad or your triad. So in week one, you meet with the dyad and you practice coaching each other. And so it's a one hour session with the dyad and you coach for half an hour and then you receive free coaching for half an hour. And it's an extremely powerful process to experience coaching and to practice coaching. That has been one of my favorite parts of this program. The next five weeks after week two, I met with my triad. And so then it's similar to the dyad, except there's also an observer role. So you take turns coaching, being coached, and then observing. And they have a dedicated observer tool that helps you to observe the coaching session. And that's also really powerful to get feedback from an observer within the triad. And then it's also extremely powerful to see one another progressing on our health and wellness goals. And it's, it's absolutely incredible because you see the power of nurse coaching within those sessions. As you can tell, I, I do recommend the program. I think it's absolutely fabulous. It's been life-changing for me and I'm so, so excited to go into the practicum portion, which when I'm done with that, I'll do a review of it as well, but I haven't been through it yet, so I'm not exactly sure what to expect yet. But I do know that we will have 60 coaching hours. We will need to find clients and we will get to have supervised coaching hours. And I think that that's that is just um, that they're recorded maybe, you get feedback from them, you might meet with the coach with them, but as I said, I can't really speak to it quite yet because I haven't done it. So then each week there's also assignments. So there's readings that you need to complete and they may have other articles that you're going to read. You listen to the recorded lectures and then you do your peer or your either dyad or triad for the week and they tell you kind of what to focus on in your dyad or triad. You can record dyads and triads, but it's only for your own ability to watch it. it they don't come in and watch your recorded meetings. Each week, there's also model peer coaching. And so some of the faculty get together and they do peer dyads or they do peer triads so you can actually see what a coaching dyad or triad looks like. And it, it gives you a frame of reference about what dyads and triads might look like. And I've found that to be one of the most incredible supportive pieces is that you get this modeling from the faculty. And I found it to be a really wonderful program that's been personally healing and professionally exciting, professionally inspiring. And so I'm so excited to move forward in the next phase of my career as a health and wellness nurse coach or board certified nurse coach, whichever I decide to go for in the long run and to work towards those credentials. Another thing that they do talk about within the program in terms of the pass rate for the board certifications is 100%. And so of all the uh, 33 cohorts that went before me, every single student passed their board certification with a 100% pass rate. And I think that's pretty rare for a program to have 100% pass rate, so that is awesome. You also do get practice with taking test questions that are similar to what you'll see on the certification exam. And so at the end of each module, you take a quiz and kind of test your knowledge on it. The quizzes, there are only four questions and there was one week where we had 10 questions and you can repeat taking that as many times as you need to. It's not graded in terms of a letter grade, so as long as you participate, you post your discussion postings, you participate in the supervisory meetings and your dyad and triad coachings, then you get the credit for it and there's no official grade. It's, it's like a pass-fail system. And then I'll say if you miss a supervisory 
advisory meeting. You just let the faculty know ahead of time and they'll give you a makeup assignment or they'll tell you what to review. They'll create something for you so if you miss the content and then they record the supervisory meetings and so then that's also been really beneficial as well. The other benefit that comes with this whole nurse coaching program is that you do get a Google email account and it is at inursecoach.com and so you'll have a whole dedicated email address at inursecoach.com. You um, start off the course in posting a, a little bio about yourself and then you can read the bios of the other nurses that are taking the courses and they come from a variety of backgrounds and across the United States which is very cool and then you get to meet them and build lasting friendships, relationships with especially with my triad and dyad. I am going to stay in touch and made some friends for life I think. Um, really awesome program. And what else can I tell you? So you get this iNurse Coach email and then you also um, have access to the calendar platform. It's a kind of set up like, a, like it would be a Gmail, but it's dedicated for iNurse Coach. That's how you schedule your triads and dyads. So initially that's a bit of a learning curve and I would recommend if you're taking this course that you figure out a person who can schedule those within the dyad and triad and just get them all on the calendar at the beginning of the class. Once those were all set up and you're having to work with different time zones and everything, but once they were set up it worked so incredibly well and then you can host your own Google Meets for your session. One of the questions I had early on is can you really connect with someone over a platform like Google Meets or over Zoom calls? And they had said, yes, you absolutely can. And I found that to be absolutely 100% true, especially when I take the time to center myself and be present prior to the coaching, um, which that's something I'm gonna carry into my own coaching practice is that prior to you're just getting very centered and present in the moment so that you can focus on coaching this other person and the coaching itself i could make a whole nother video about that and i probably will in terms of what is nurse coaching and what does that actually look like because I do plan to set up my own coaching business and I'm working on that in the background. I can add one more thing that the final um, module of the nurse coaching of the 12 weeks is focused on the business of nurse coaching and so it does give you a little dip into that pool that you can kind of get your toe wet in terms of are um, supportive of nurse entrepreneurs and setting up their own health and wellness nurse coaching businesses. And I think they're going to help us be able to find our own clients. And so that's something that I will definitely have in the future, a search for getting clients for my practicum. And so it will be 100% free health coaching and you could experience that for yourself. So if you're interested in health coaching, I'm going to leave a link to my website and you can take a look if I have availability that might match with you. The other thing about nurse coaching is it does work under your registered nurse license. And so if you are a part of a state with a multi-state compact that's a, a part of the enhanced nurse licensure compact, then you can coach across state lines because you do work under the license or if you work in a state that's not a part of the compact then you are working with clients directly within your state which we've been reassured that there are plenty. I am a part of the multi-state nurse licensure compact so there are states that I can coach to, but then they're the ones that aren't a part of it I would not be able to so we would do a little bit of finding out where you're located and if we could set up a coaching relationship and so I hope that you've enjoyed this review of the integrative nurse coach Academy with the integrative nurse coach association and I hope that if you're interested in nurse coaching that you will give it a go 
go for it. What's stopping you? A lot of the peers that we've had from the program have been able to find tuition reimbursement from their employers or get scholarships to help cover the cost of the program. It is um, for the two programs, it's about $3,000, a little bit more than that. But if you have a tuition reimbursement, you may be able to work out a deal in presenting this to the chief nursing officer, to the execs where you work and get some financial assistance to be able to cover the cost of the program. Or I would also say it is a very worthwhile investment because if you're interested in health and wellness coaching, I do think that it's important to have a board certification in that area that is credentialed. I think it just adds to the value of what you can offer. And it's a really valuable learning experience to be able to integrate these skills. All right, so I hope that this information was useful to you. Again, please like if it was useful. Hit that subscribe button below. I release new videos every Wednesday and bye-bye.